But what I don't get is the arrows are pointing different yes. directions, so one, they can't both be positive. No, you got it. Nice work. All right, you're ready. For your next At the Odyssey School of Denver, students are using a system called Menu Math to master content, deepen their habits of inquiry, and better know and direct themselves as learners. In my seventh grade math class, every student has the same menu to chase after the same target. And students know that how they get there involves some choice. Remember that new check-in list that's on the cupboard there. Take. When working on a menu, students cycle through stages of practice, instruction, and assessment as they progress toward the learning target. Students are self-directed through most of the work, but every class ends together with a debrief and begins together with new learning in the form of a grapple problem. So taking a look at the strategies that you all have named for hitting these inquiry criteria, which strategy is going to make the biggest difference in the grapple and in your menu work? I start all of my math classes with a grapple. The long-term target that we're working on is about adding and subtracting rational numbers. Okay. Remember you have seven minutes to totally just work with your own personal resources. The grapple is dynamic in that I choose it based on what I notice the students are struggling with. And I try, try to choose a grapple that supports understanding that target and reaching for that target and also provides different entry points for different students. And then the question of the board asks you to identify... As students grappled numbers. with the math content, they were explicitly directed to apply the habit of inquiry to their work. Today I had the students think about, okay, if I'm going to be attacking this type of problem, what do I already know about this math target? What don't I know? Or what do I need to know? What are my resources? What is an inquiry strategy I want to try to apply? And so they're choosing from a list that they generated, actually. Yeah, you, you would go from zero, zero you, yeah, you always start at zero, and then you would go to 100 and... The new learning moment in the classroom happens at the end of the grapple. It's called the focus section, and it's dynamic and responsive. Um, it's a time for me to introdu introduce the next steps in the understanding of the, the long-term learning target. And after that new learning, students then have the chance to go to the menu and choose what's next for them based on how they felt about that new learning. Common Core standards frame the content and sequence of math menus at Odyssey School. Each standard is broken down into several long-term learning targets, and the targets provide the basis of the menus. Menus include the long-term target on the top, a sequence of required problem sets and resources, optional work, a series of exit tickets as students advance through the menu, and columns for tracking strategies in progress towards proficiency on the target. The menu we're doing right now about integers, there's like a whole bunch of little mini topics inside of that target and there are about eight exit tickets. Based on those exit tickets, um, the things that you can do during your independent class time is the stuff on the menu like the classwork, problem set, exit ticket, or you could be revising work or writing next steps. In math class, I decided to use my time to check my problem set that I did for homework because I could see patterns of my work and how some work was totally confusing to Corey or I or peers and so I decided to do the classwork for it. I gave myself a developing and developing means that you're not quite there but you're getting there. My next choices are to get additional help from Corey or um, get additional help from a peer. I think next class I'm going to get additional help from Corey. Let's see if we can write down some of these ideas in a different color. I had just gotten my exit ticket back from Corey and I noticed that I was getting developing because I wasn't using the number line correctly. From zero to five mm -hmm. and then from... Let's try it. At Odyssey School we do this thing called advocating for ourselves and if we don't understand a topic, you can go to a teacher. You just had an idea. Let's try out your idea. I think advocating was a good use of my time because when I ended up turning my revised exit ticket in, I got accomplished on it. Got that now? Yeah. I think that we have enough evidence. Each menu wraps up with a summative assessment, and the whole class moves together through the next cycle of menus and assessments. The unit concludes with a comprehensive assessment which, considered together with the menu work, forms the body of evidence for determining proficiency. At the beginning of class, I asked, what inquiry strategy were you going to try today 
and I asked you to push yourself and choose something that you don't usually use. I think doing math like this really helps me. We each get to go at our own pace. I'm pushing myself to places that I really haven't pushed myself before. And then I asked you to leave half of your sheet open to notice and celebrate something that you saw a peer doing, an inquiry strategy in You action. can move at your own pace and you can really fully understand the target before you move on instead of not really getting it and then moving on and then still being confused. I see Alex using the anchor chart up here to refresh his memory. That's a good use of resources. I have high standards for myself, especially in math. My accolade was for Nina because I overheard you and her talking about how she was like the student that was asking the most questions and using the most support from you. I really do like the system. It's on you to get your work done and get it done on time. So I thought that she did a really good job with criteria number one. It gives me a lot more control over my work. I'm assuming that you would feel good handing that accolade to whomever you wrote it for. I know that what works well about menu math is that students can make statements about themselves as learners. So they can say things like, I am the kind of student who needs extra practice. I know I need to go back and do more. I know that problem sets are always a challenge for me and I have to start them this way. So I know menu math works because students are building self-awareness and strategies for who they are. Really great work today. Excellent work, y'all.